Hello Ash buddies welcome back to our YouTube channel as in Tim Game Boss and thanks a lot for cooperating with the Super Blaze Diversions new feature subscriber goal and you have successfully reached the subscriber goal that I had kept so as I promised the episode 2 is going to come for you so let's continue from the last scene in the Choco Town so it's a pokemon a starter pokemon which is realu aura with quick attack great punch and your and one beast con counter so we were supposed to go to the inventor's lab to get ourselves a spare pokedex so the inventor's lab is of course upstairs right there so yeah it's the inventor's lab so let's right get into the inventor's lab and get ourselves a pokedex don't forget to like the video and share with your friends so told you once i have told you a thousand times so don't disturb me while i'm walking so i see i think i missed the sweet time yes oh i'm so sorry i thought you were one of my best in ace will be dash correct professor willow sent me an email a short while ago and i have your pokedex here you go so we get a pokedex such a shiny red color pokedex here take these as well as a sort of gift to help you fill out the pokedex entries so we get pokedex and the pokeballs from inventor ash do you mind if i ask you a few favor there are some fun wonderful rains in the milkshake swamp that i would like to discover or observe but i feel much safer with an escort would you mind coming with me the entrance to the swamp is to the north of town i'll be seeing you soon i hope Okay, so we need to escort him to the uh, milkshake swamp. So yeah, and uh, guys, I never knew that this game had a generate Pokemon too. And uh, we have already seen a uh, Fulu in the previous episode, a wild Fulu, which is of course Generation Eight Pokemon. So lots of fun coming through, and there is Mega Evolution. So I think uh, those guys are some sort of a day in an evil organization something so these guys won't let me get into the milkshake swamp so yeah they are a few grunts or maybe something of a evil organization yeah they are grunts nobody enters the swamp go do something else instead so they are truly grunts of a evil organization who is this still playing on innocent travelers team fusion i never thought you'd stop solo i have already run off the rest of your gang in this land already so you have no reason to stay here of course if you have any need to protest my dark cry is itching for a battle so our objectives here are complete we'll be taking your leap so they are of course team fusion grunts so who is this man Did those girls harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm so sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake, and I'm a member of the Juno Elite Four. I have taken it upon myself to protect travelers such as you at any expense. So is Elite Four member is Blake. Just out of curiosity, why are you both going into the milkshake swamp? It's not exactly the most fun place to be. I was curious about some of the ruins in the swamp. Ash was going to escort me to them. In any case, any wild Pokemon attack. I don't have any Pokemon, you see. Deep fusion. Those men preventing you from entering the milkshake swamp. So they are deep fusion. You say Blake. So I really think those are bad guys. We are poking around those same ruins. Allow me to escort you there myself. I'm sure I have frightened them all off. I'm sure Ash would not want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. You have just begun as a trainer. Continue to keep striving for your dreams and rest assured they'll come true. One day we may even battle come inventor scientific exploration of fates. So what? What did just happen? In 
inventor left with plague, but we got another inventor here who is me. I think that's just a glitch for ya. So guys, I'm gonna save the game right here and check if the glitch would be working if I save it. So never mind, the glitch is working, however. So what if I try to go into the Pokemon Center and if, if I come out, will the glitch be still there? So this was the first ever glitch I released in this game. So why not just remove the glitch? Okay. Never mind the glitch was gone however. Even though I come back from Hillshake Swamp, the glitch was gone. So let's come back one more time and let's go directly into the Milkshake Swamp. Which is the third location we are gonna enter in this game. Other than our hometown and Choco Town and this is Milkshake Swamp. I hope there are a few Pokemon that I might catch in this game. Which is the first thing that I want to do, catching a few Pokemon. And we got Silly Cobra, the wild Pokemon of Generation 8. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna catch it because that's not that interesting Pokemon. So let's get the item over here. So yeah. Pokeball, so good for a type. So he's a bug type user, and it's another genetic gossip player, which is a grass type Pokemon or bug type Pokemon of generation 8. It has a Dynamax in future, so it's a Grubbit, which is another bug type of uh, Genate. No, I don't think it's Genate Pokemon, it's maybe a Kalos region or a Lola God. definitely catch it because it's generation 8 pokemon i really want to add a gen 8 pokemon into my team so or a to level 9 okay and guys i have got a pretty good thought of about my team since this game has a pokemon till generation 8 i have a team i have a team thought in my mind which, oh it's a grogan which consists of all fighting type Pokemon since my aura evolved into Lucario, Steel and Fighting type we need to get dual typing Pokemon in which one type is a fighting type so which is of course a Krogunk which uh, evolves into a Toxic Krog which is already a poison and fighting type so I definitely want to get such dual typing Pokemon with the secondary type as fighting type so the third Pokemon we get is of course a uh, mystery. So I definitely want to catch a Krogan and give it to the Master Ball slot. So name I have got a pretty good name for the Krogan. So let's see if I would find one in this milkshake swamp and I will definitely wait until I find one because I do wanna catch it. So we are learning focus punch over here which is a pretty good move unless we get hit by you by another pokemon so i would definitely get rid of the endure move which is of a no use for us so yeah endure is gone and we learn focus punch so yeah we get this right guys and another pokemon trainer battle right here so we finish it and guys never forget to finish the subscriber goal before you want the another episodes upload because I already have finished uh, a few episodes ready for my uploading so whenever the subscriber goal is completed I would definitely upload them for you so never forget to complete the subscriber goal and I was very shocked and happy because by the time I uploaded Pokemon Super Glazed version my subscriber count was 175 so that I kept the subscriber goal 5 so that I get to 180 which is the nearest point for our milestone of 200 subscribers 
but you gave me 10 more subscribers guys I asked you for 5 you gave me 10 and right now I am having 185 subscribers very much happy for your support guys thanks a lot please comment to save and finish the subscriber goal right now so yep we definitely looking forward for the 200 subscribers milestone before the end of 2020 so we got the final pokemon trainer battle finished this is i think the ruins which was spoken about in vendor so uh, as you came at just the right time as i suspected so this is already the ruins another grunt snuck back while our backs were turned look up there by the tablet so who is he man he seems very suspicious he must be up to no good okay do you want to see a member of the Allied 4 in action? Oh my god! Come with me then. In winter, it's best you stay there where it's safe. Okay? We are gonna watch an Allied 4 in action. I thought I ran you scum off with your trail being your legs. I snuck back here to get the information I was employed to find. They will welcome me back at headquarters like a hero. I had no time to play games with the Pokemon League now. So long, idiots. This tablet. Are you two alright? You scared of that grunt good. And uh, so, proper it seems. So it's the inventor for you. So we could not uh, see the Blake in action. Too bad. Wow, amazing. Mm. I'm done here for now. It's getting nasty. Thank you. So he's going out. Why so soon man? Blake and Ash for assisting me. Please take this. Obtain the Pokecom which is I not got a clue of which is a Pokecom. The Pokecom is a device of my own invention. It translates Pokemon speech into human speech and vice versa. So we can speak with Pokemon in this game. Hopefully it will help you on your journey. Next translated with Pokecom will be displayed with this color. So remember guys any green color text will be a uh, text spoken by Pokemon itself. I'll be much happier there where I can work in peace. See you around Ash. Thanks a lot Inventor and Blake for coming through. These ruins are amazing. Why are they here? So it's our dialogue. So we are what's happening right now? I clue about what's happening what what happened did i slip through the universe again okay we got slipped through the universe again so that was the thing that happened in the first episode basically so oh i thought i heard a commotion do you remember me my name is luke i was the one who brought you back to your room last time as i predicted you managed to slip through again so yep I'm kind of in a rush, so I'll have to hold off explaining again. Would you mind helping me? I'm looking for a mudkip that's... So, basically he's not going to explain the whole thing again. Wandered off. It's somewhere right in that swamp. So, but I can't find it anywhere. I'd appreciate it if... Okay, we're gonna find it like the far-fetched in the hard gold. I'll explain what's happening as best as I can. So, at least after the catching Mudkip. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna heal our Pokemon because our aura is already poisoned and it's low of HP. So, thanks a lot for healing, Luke. So, it would be my pleasure if you generally explain what was happening and what's happening right now too. So, yeah. We got our Pokemon healed. And let's search that mudkip for him and if it is a normal mudkip so if it has the advantage of catching it so i'll definitely catch it because mudkip uh, whether it's not a fighting type also but still it would be good pokemon to catch as it's uh, one of the starter pokemons of hoenn region so if I get to catch it, I'll definitely catch this mudkip. So I'll definitely try for it at least if I can. So if it's not in my hand, then we get to catch our fighting type Pokemon team. So yep, we got the mudkip over here again. So I 
think now at least we get the chance to catch it the mudkip attack so let's have a pokemon battle with that mudkip and if we can we can catch it of course so it evolves into a swampert which is of a water and ground type of course it has a mid evolution called uh, marsh tom so i never care about that much so let's just attack it and uh, let's try catching it if we can so if it's not in our hands then i'll definitely go on with my usual plan of catching a fighting type team so of course the team member would be a krogunk a poison fighter so yep Let's try the Pokeball right now. If we can catch it, I'll definitely catch it. So I said a lot of times in words. So yeah, guys, please complete the subscriber goal, five subscribers goal, because uh, I know you. I don't need to say for you because we are already reaching the 200 subscribers milestone. We are so close. Just a 15 more subscribers. Please share with your friends the video and say them to and ask them to subscribe. And uh, please don't leave by subscribing. You are also need to watch the video for at least a bit of five to six minutes and like it if you really love the video. And my commentary, I definitely not asked you at least one time if my video is good or not. So I'm asking you right now. So you always comment awesome, amazing, nice, good, etc. But I want to ask you one more time if it's that great or not. So comment it, and if you really love it, like the video. So yep, guys, and uh, this time I don't think we'll catch it, the mudkip. So uh, of course, I think this will be the last time I'm gonna try to catch it, the mudkip. So this will be the last Pokeball I'm gonna waste on it. If it doesn't get caught, I'm gonna use a quick attack and just hit that out. So no, never mind guys. This is not the Pokemon that we need to catch. So of course I have a, my own plan to go. So let's forget about the Mudkip and catch uh, another Pokemon like Krogan which is a dual typing and has a fighting type. So let's use a quick attack. So. This is the last time. Okay, guys, never mind. We lost the Mudkip. So, another universal Pokemon. So, we lost it. Never mind. So, that's for it. So, yep. Yeah. Ash, excellent work. The portal to your universe is working. What? What did I just do? I just got a Pokemon. So, again, but you have to hurry. Why, man? Every time you say hurry before it shirts again. I'm sorry, but there is no time to explain. Get to the portal and just go. Get out. Okay, man. Never mind. I'm not gonna go that easily. Let's just check this place again. I get a thing that is this the mash or the milkshake swamp that we just got into. I think this was the same place that we just roamed till now. So there is an item over here. What another universe has a max ether too? Never mind. So I think there is a link between that place and this place because both places have a swamp and both places have raining weather. So I got zero clues about what's happening in this game right now. So let's just jump out of this place. So yep, we got back to the mash or uh, swamp milkshake swamp. So. That's it guys, that's it for the milkshake swamp, so never mind I'm not gonna trap, I'm not gonna set on the trap which poisons our pokemon, so we need to look after them, look out for them, so yep, I think all the pokemon battles here are down now, so this silly cobra always the same pokemon, this silly cobra evolves into a sand aconda, which is a ground type, that's it, it doesn't have dual typing. But if it was a fighting ground type, I would definitely catch it. So yep, we need a fighting type Pokemon definitely for our team. So why not just um, heal our Pokemon and come back to the Milkshake Swamp, searching for the Pokemon that we love for catching, like Krogunk. So if any of the special Pokemon will be found too, I'll definitely catch it too. 
so my aim to catch a two pokemon but we got the first one we were looking for it's a krogunk so i hope this pokeball will definitely catch the krogunk yep finally finally a single catch and that krogunk doesn't have an explanation in the pokedex i think this is another glyph i mean glitch so i got a perfect name for this krogunk which would be a daya from Benton Omniverse so it's uh, Princess Atea so she's also a frog uh, some type of froggy creature like incursion so and this Krogunk is also a female so perfect name Princess Atea so that the Krogunk which is a poison fighting type for us so as I mentioned I want to catch another Pokemon because uh, I need some Pokemons that have fighting type duel. Oh my god guys, this was an unexpected encounter though. We got a Shroomish over here which evolves into a Breloom which is of grass and a fighting type. So I have a Shroomish in my Pokemon Emerald playthrough which was nicknamed as a Hinata. So as I was speaking about Benton Omniverse. I'm gonna rename this as Benten because a Breloom is a grass type Pokemon which is green colored. So, yep. I rename, I nicknamed this Roomish as a Benten even though it's a female. Never mind, nothing matters. It's just how much fun you make and how much you enjoy the game. So, it's Benten for ya. Yep. We got three Pokemons in our party ready to fight and ready to rip the game. And there are many exciting features in the game that we need to still uncover. We already got an um, idea of having Generation 8 Pokemon. And we got Mega Evolution 2. And we also got um, Universal Shifting theme of Pokemon game. So, yep, we got this right now. So, these here are our Pokemons like Krogunk and Shroomish. So, these are the ones we got at Daya and Benten so never forget to say which was your best one and which was your favorite one at Daya or Benten so don't think that I gave the permanent positions as Master Ball and Ultra Ball I may change based on their powers and based on their uh, abilities and based on their uh, what they perform in the game so the Master Ball can be gone to any powerful Pokemon in the team and the beast ball may go to any powerful pokemon in the team never forget that so this is a statue of mew so guys never forget to like subscribe share to your friends finish the subscriber goal for new episodes because this game is freaking mysterious and freaking so exciting so i'm sure you will be so very very much excited for this game so watch next bye guys see you in the episode 3 I'm DJ.